last time we left off we were able to uh, get the comments extract the comments from the comment thread that we were interested in and now we're gonna actually build the card layout for the comments and we're gonna add the all the comment parameters into uh, the comment object class let's actually start by creating the comment layout so let's go over and create a new layout resource file so go here go comments layout and I'll change this to uh, relative layout get rid of this orientation and this is gonna be relatively simple we're just gonna add a card view and go match parent and wrap content and I need to give this some properties but uh, let's take a look at our other card layout. Maybe I can just copy these. Yeah, let's just copy these and go back to card layout. And looks like I need to import some libraries. Let's do that. I don't really know if I want the card to look like this yet. I think I'm just gonna leave it for now and we'll come back to it. I know I should probably add some elevation though. I'll do 10 DP. Yeah, so I mean, I'll just leave it for now and we'll do some, we're gonna do a lot of material design work later. So that's fine and we'll do match parent and match parent for this relative layout. This is gonna encapsulate the entire card view inside. Now I'm gonna create another relative layout. So I'll do match parent and wrap content. And below that relative layout, I will add a progress bar. And just do 50, 50 DP by 50 DP. And this one is gonna be called comment progress bar and we'll do center horizontal true oops and center vertical true there we go so we got our progress bar up there now inside here we're going to create three text views one for the comment one for the author and one for the updated parameter so do text view and i guess wrap match parent wrap content i guess it doesn't matter i'll just do wrap content it will depend on how long how long the comment is really and I'll do ID. This is just going to be straight up comment and do gravity center vertical text comment. Do a little bit of a margin on the top. It's 3DP. And I'm going to make this uh, text style bold because it's the actual comment itself. Now I'm going to copy that and do it two more times. One for the author and then one for the, um, I shall do comment, comment author, and this one will be, I don't know why I just retyped that, comment updated, I don't want it to be bold, I'm going to go below the comment, and I don't want that bold, and I'm going to go below comment author, and for these two, I want to actually change, whoops, I'm going to change the text size, so text size, I'm just going to do 10 SP, because these are gonna be smaller than the comment. We don't want them to really show as much. We, really, we want the comment to stand out. We want the author and the updated parameter to be much smaller. So I'll just put author here and put updated. So that actually should be good. That's, that's so this gonna be pretty simple. It's just gonna display text, so that's fine. So we're gonna close our comments layout and we're gonna come back to comments activity. And now we're gonna extract this information that I talked about earlier and we're gonna put it into comment objects and store it and actually display it in the list view. I'm gonna create a new list of strings and this is gonna hold all the actual comments that are on it. So I'll call it comment details, but these are gonna be the actual comments themselves. Then what I'll do is call our comments array list and go add, go new comment, go to the next line, semicolon, and we'll go comment details dot get i dot to string or no we just want to do get get zero we want to get the zeroth position of comment details because comment details will get remade every single time this loop runs and the first section is the one we want because that's going to hold the snipped portion right here so we want we want that we don't want the other portion if there is another portion okay so then next we're going to get the uh get the author so dot get i get author and we can use the get name method to get the author's name and then entries dot get i dot get updated and then entries dot get i dot get uh, we don't have an id method for some reason in entries so we need to go into entries and we need to create that id i do have that so what's going on here i don't have a get id method down here 
Okay, so let's go here, do alt insert getter and setters, and get that ID. So there we have the get ID method now. So now this should work here, get ID, there we go. And I'm just gonna anticipate some errors here. I've done quite a bit of testing, so and I so I kind of know what errors are gonna be thrown. Um, the first of which is gonna be an index out of bounds exception. So when you log e, oops, let's just copy that. And we'll catch that index out of bounds exception. And what I'm gonna do in that case is I'm just gonna copy this. And because some, some comments have slightly different, uh, they have different formats. And so what I'll do is I'll just do like a comment can't found situation pretty much. So I'm gonna do none and none and none. And then I'll say like error reading comment. And this will happen from time to time. Sometimes comments are just a little different or maybe they have a certain character that our extract XML class didn't like and it screwed it up. So what I'll do is I'll just create this this array index or this index out of bounds exception to catch that error. And the last one that I want to catch is a null pointer exception because some of these posts don't have authors. So um, actually what I'll do is I'll grab this one. And because there's a chance that it just might not have an author, so what I'll do is I'll just pass none for the author parameter, and it seems to have no problem getting the others, so that's what we'll just do here, and make sure that we put the null pointer exception right there. Just a little bit of error handling from my experiences testing this app. Now we're gonna go up to the top, and we're gonna create a global variable for the list view, so private list view, whoops. Import that, and we'll go down, and now we're gonna declare that list view here. So m list view equals list view, find view by id, r dot id dot, uh, what did we call that list view? Not there, it was in activity comments. Oh, I was just there. It's called comments list view. Okay, so let's put that in there. So we're gonna need to create a, a custom list adapter for our comments. Because our we can't use we can't use our custom list adapter here. We're gonna create we're gonna create a, a comment list adapter. It's gonna be very similar, but it's gonna be a little different because in the custom list adapter here we have images, but in um, in our comments here these don't have images. Sorry. So if we go to the comments layout, these have no images. So they just have a progress dialog, a comment, an author, an updated parameter. So it'll be very similar. So I, I'm actually gonna copy this. So I'm gonna copy custom list adapter. I'm gonna go into comments. I'm gonna paste it but I'm gonna rename this comments list adapter. And we're just gonna change a few things. So we don't need the image view. We need title, author, date, and progress bar. So that's good. Go down, setting up the image loader. We don't need that because we don't have any images. The image URL, we don't need. Close a little space here. Uh, we don't need the image. And these are gonna have different IDs. So if we go to our comments layout, we're gonna use the IDs that are here. So uh, I believe this one was comment, and this one was comment author, and this one was comment updated. This was comment, comment progress bar, I believe. Let's go just double check that. Comment progress bar, yep. So that's good. I'm just gonna close some of these because we don't need them. And uh, so I can change that title just in case you guys are confused. I'll change that to comment. We'll go down here, change that to comment. Um, we got get title here. This should be uh, get comment. So we're gonna need to change our object class here. We're gonna change this to comment. And what else do we need? We need to change this to comment. And now we can do get comment, get author, get updated. Uh, I don't have to get the ID. That's all good, that's all good. This will be comment. Still looking good. We don't need our image loader, so we can delete that. We can delete all this image loader stuff. Uh, I don't know why that animation's even still here because we're not using it. And then delete the image loader stuff here. And I think that should be good. So much easier than what we were doing in the past. So now let's go back to, let's close the entries and we'll go back to our comments activity and we do custom or sorry comments list adapter comment list adapter 
adapter is new, comments list adapter, comments activity uh, this, and pass the layout file. So we have the comments layout, and we're going to pass our list, which is uh, m comments. Then we just go list view set adapter, and we can set the adapter. I called it adapt adapter. There now it's adapter. And what else do we need to do? Uh, we can set that progress bar. What is that? Do I not have it declared up here? No progress bar. Because right now we do have a progress bar there. So let's declare that. So comments uh, loading progress bar. Go up to the top and go uh, private progress bar loading comments. Actually, let's call it progress bar. And progress bar. And then we'll go here and go m progress bar equals progress bar. Find you ID, our ID dot that right there. And um, what we want to do when the activity starts is go progress bar set visibility view dot visible. And then down here, when the comments are finally vi finished loading, we can go m progress bar dot set visibility view dot gone. Let's check the, oh, we also need to set that set that text, that loading comments text. So I'll need to declare the text view also up here. So I can go uh, private, edit text, uh, comment, or let's go progress text. Oh, what was that? Import that and let's declare that. So progress text equals edit text. I don't think I gave that an ID, did I? Let's see. Uh, nope. So let's give it an ID. Uh, let's use progress text since that's what I already called it. Progress text. Close that. And I have to add a text. What is it? A text view? Was oh, a text view? Okay, sorry. Let's call this a text view. Change that. And then we'll go back down here and we're going to set that text. So progress text, set text to empty once it's done loaded. So that's good. Now the progress bar will go away and the text will get set to zero or set to nothing once it's done loading the comments. And speaking of progress bars, I just realized that I forgot to uh, do the view stuff for the progress bar here. So I'm going to need to go into the holder. So holder, what did I call the progress bar? I didn't even create it progress bar okay so let's go m progress bar dot set visibility view dot visible and then down here we will set it to not visible so gone all right i think we're ready to run it let's give it a shot and see what we get all right let's take a look we'll go to the funny subreddit as always and i'm just going to choose a post that one has no image, that was a bad one, but that's okay. And let's see if it actually loads the comments. Looks like we get uh, unable to retrieve RSS feed, path parameter feed name must not be null. I think uh, it might be my array declaration, I don't know. Oh yeah, look at that, I didn't declare the array, that's what it is. So let's go here, where are we gonna go? We'll go in here. Comments equals new array list comment, there we go. I think that was the problem. Let's run it again because that error did not make sense to me because it caught a null pointer exception immediately after. So let's just see what this does. Go picks and just choose one. There we go. So it is loading the comments now. So everything looks like it's working the way it should. Um, I really don't like the way it looks right now, but we're going to do a bunch of material design stuff later. Like this text is really ugly, the cards are ugly, but we're gonna make it look much better later. Don't forget to leave a like, make sure to follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you in that next video.